Sali Bonani, Mabuyane Munjani. You are listening to the Girl Save Podcast. I am your host, Begezela Mkuni. On the 21st of May 2024, Death Zimbabwe Trust released a statement on the ratification of the African Disability Protocol by the Parliament of Zimbabwe. So today in my podcast, I am talking to Paida Moyo Kimini, a social inclusion practitioner focusing on disability rights, and she is also the program's manager at Deaf Zimbabwe Trust. Welcome, Paida Moyo. May you please explain to us what the African Disability Protocol is all about. The African Disability Protocol is a human rights treaty that addresses discrimination affecting people with disabilities um, living on the African continent. It was adopted in 2018 by the African Union, but for it to become legally binding, 15 member states of the African Union must sign and ratify the protocol. I think right now we are currently on 12 member states who have uh, ratified the protocol, including Zimbabwe. So much for that explanation, Paida. In the press statement by Deaf Zimbabwe Trust, you spoke about the harmful practices that affect persons with disability within the African context. What harmful practices are these and how does the ratified African Disability Protocol address these harmful practices? Harmful practices um, in relation to persons with disabilities are covered under Article 11 of the ADP. Uh, And these include uh, ritual killings associated with persons with disabilities, as we've seen in countries like Kenya and Malawi, where persons with albinism are killed for ritual purposes. Um, It also includes issues of witchcraft, uh, abandonment, and just the general idea that disability uh, is a bad omen in society. And uh, the African Disability Protocol provides that state parties must put in place measures um, to provide assistance to victims of harmful practices, including legal sanctions, as well as to conduct advocacy campaigns that seek to eliminate the myths and misconceptions around disability that have fueled um, these harmful practices. what you're saying about the harmful practices where you talk about ama ritual killings of people with albinism i hope someone will listen to this to play their part in protecting persons with disability so how does your organization and other stakeholders that you partnered with in advocating for the ratification of the protocol intend to make sure that the African Disability Protocol is effectively implemented. In advocating for the ratification of the protocol, we partnered with disability rights organizations to ensure that we have one voice in our campaign. And now that the ratification has taken place, the next step would be around the domestication of Uh, the treaty which would include us taking the provisions of the treaty and uh, translating them into our domestic laws and I think at the moment we have a very perfect opportunity for us to do that through the persons with disabilities bill that is uh, that recently underwent public hearings Um, in creating that law we can then take into account the provisions of um, the ADP and ensure that the Persons with Disabilities Act that we will produce will mirror what we find in the ADP. I think implementation um, remains a challenge in Zimbabwe generally. We have very good laws on paper but sometimes um, implementation does not happen as it should. But given the context that we are operating in an environment that um, has gained an appreciation of the rights of persons with disabilities, as is evidenced by um, instruments such as the National Disability Policy, the ratification of the ADP that we have seen, and um, the the current um, lawmaking process around the Disabled Persons Bill. I think all of this is working towards ensuring that we have um, the right legislative framework to support disability inclusion. We as um, civil society organizations, as disability rights organizations, remain committed um, to supporting the government um, 
um, in this implementation and partnering with the government to ensure that the rights of persons with disabilities are upheld. Uh, in the press statement again, you wrote about the new rights that are introduced in the ratified African Disability Protocol, Protocol that are silent in the United Nations Conventions on the Rights of Persons with Disability. What are these new rights that you were talking about? By now? The ADP builds up on the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities and it puts um, disability rights into an African context. In particular, the ADP addresses um, issues such as tradition, harmful practices, um, and the role they play in the discrimination of people with disabilities. Uh, and this is particularly unique to the African context. It also deals with um, the issue of community, caregivers, families of persons with disabilities and their role in terms of um, supporting persons with disabilities. The ADP also recognizes albinism as a form of disability, which the UNCRP does not do. So I would say in general the ADP is coming in to support um, the framework that the UNCRPD introduced, but goes a step further in terms of ensuring that we are discussing um, disability rights in an African context, understanding the dynamics um, surrounding disability within our community, addressing the myths and misconceptions, um, addressing the role that tradition plays, in defining disability as well as upholding the rights of persons with disabilities. Thank you so much to the organizations like Deaf Zimbabwe Trust that advocate for the rights of people with disability. What do disability so please let's join hands in protecting the rights of people with disability especially in Kulumama harmful practices where persons with albinism are killed for rituals from the girls table and me your host Please don't forget to follow us on our social media pages. Good Twitter is table underscore girls. Good Facebook is the girls table. Instagram the dot girls table. Humble go YouTube. Please don't forget to like like our content and subscribe. Kichima bageti uye go website here to www.thegirlstable.org. Obone the work that the girls table has done. Until next time, miabonga kakolo. Thank you.